Hi guys, welcome to Step by Step PowerPoint. As you see in this video, we are going to learn how to create architectural urbanism shed in PowerPoint just by some few tricks. Don't forget, subscribe our channel, Step by Step PowerPoint. Thank you a lot. Let's see this video together. Setting proper size for architecture sheet. For this, go to the tab Design, Slide Size, Custom Slide Size, choose the Slide Size for Custom, and put your proper size here. For example, I put 50, and I put my orientation in portrait. Putting all of my art documents in our sheet, it's needed to use ruler and guidelines. For this, go to the tab view and this ruler got grid lines and guides. Turn on this mark. It is ruler, guides, and grid lines. In this sheet, we do not need grid lines, so I remove this mark. But I need more guidelines. For creating another vertical or horizontal guidelines, go to, on this line and after that you see this mark, right click and add vertical guide and put it in the uh, place that is prepared for your ship. For example, documents into your PowerPoint. Go to the Insert, Pictures, and choose your specific folders and all your data that is related to your sheet. I uh, insert my pictures so I put them in the right positions and if, I, if you want you can change your size. This picture is my main render, so I wanted to detect a, a third of my shot uh, to this picture or render. For adding another document, I want to make three columns by guidelines here, so I need another vertical guideline. see three columns are here now you can add your other renders or other documents to your sheet I want to change the background of my sheet and I use this color that is related to your render so I click on Format Backgrounds, Gradient Field, I choose Eyedropper, I think blue for this, and choose another this stuff. I'm gonna choose this color. I want to add soft edge effect on these renders, but I need this effect only in my bottom of my pictures. Let's do it together. I select my pictures, go to the film format picture, soft edge, and I choose this variant. As you see, all of all around my pictures, soft effect, uh, soft edge. Uh, happen to your my pictures. I said to you that I want these effect all in my bottom of my picture. So for this, I need another shape. Control Z. Go to the Insert Shapes. Choose Rectangle. I draw a rectangle and I put it in my bottom of my pictures. I change the color the white and no outline. So I click this uh, shapes, go to the shape format, soft edge, and I choose this variation for 
this box and I put this rectangle in my uh, in in my sheet and as you see my pictures bottom of my pictures had soft edge you can do it for uh, other renders that is uh, that are in bottom of your picture control c control v As you see, it changed to this sheet that you know. In the right column, I want to put these three documents that related to our plan. For this, I choose these shapes and I want to remove these backgrounds. Click on it, go to the picture format, here color, set transparent color. Click on this. And now you, you should click on the background that you want to remove it. For example, in this picture, I want to remove this white background. I click this. As you see, the background disappear. Do it for other uh, documents too. Now, as I said to you, I want to put these three documents in the right uh, column, but I want them to put them in isometric mode. Click on these shapes, go to the format pictures, click on 3D rotation, and choose preset isometric top up. For the left and middle columns, I want to add information and other documents that I have for this sheet. Let's see together. any renders any information that is related to your project in your sheet and in this video you'll learn how to create a sheet how to put picture on this sheet how to use guidelines and soft edge for uh, some part of the, your pictures and in how you can put your pictures on isometric mode don't forget Please subscribe our channel and like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you a lot.